I have previously tested the Folomove EDC C4 flashlight and thought it was pretty good. Folomove also makes chargers and here is their latest, fastest charging model, the Folomove A4. It's capable of a combined 8 amps across the slots with a max of 3 amps per slot. Build quality, as you can see here, is pretty good. No major complaints. It's stiff. It's injection molded ABS plastic and sturdy in what seems to be uh, pretty nicely fit. On the back here is a 12 volt connector for power. When I connect the power jack here that it comes with, it's just a little bit loose. It's not real tight in there and it doesn't 100% go in. I, that's something I wish they'd change and make uh, an improvement to. On the back side here, there are what looks like vent holes. However, they're not all the way through and there's no active fan in the middle. So it suggests different uh, charging current, which is nice here. And it gives the different inputs and outputs here. Input is DC 12 volts, five amps output, and it lists all the different options here. Each bay is capable of um, different speeds here. Channel one is capable up to three amps. Channel two is capable up to two amps. Channel three is capable up to three amps. And channel four is capable up to two amps. And it's compatible with lithium ion, lithium ion polymer, nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium style cells. I did have one issue with the construction and cosmetics of this charger. This third bay here, they each have springs underneath it. When I pull down, you can see the spring. Well, on the third bay here, the spring came unlatched twice, and I'll insert some photos of the inside that I took when I took it apart and fixed it. It was easy to fix, but uh, a new charger shouldn't do that. I've just slightly bent the spring a little bit, and I think it'll be fine. The other thing I'd comment is these make a little more noise and are a little uh, just not as smooth as like my X-Star VC4 here that I reviewed. The X-Star is smoother and quieter. Not a huge deal. You can see footprint wise too, the VC4 is just a little bit smaller. However, it can't take four 26650s like the A4 can. If I plug it in here, you can see the display here, it's showing null, and if it's a white on black scheme, so your display is all in white and the background's all in black. When I go through this a little bit more, I'll show it to you and I'll zoom in. One thing I wish about the back here is that it had little rubber feet. My VC4 does here, and that means it just won't slide around. The A4 doesn't have that. It looks like it's built to have the, possibly have that, but for some reason uh, it wasn't included. So I'm gonna install a Keep Power 26650 in here and show you some of the UI elements here. So when you plug it in, you, you're presented with what the battery current capacity is and what charging speed you wanna do there. You have about three seconds to make a change there and I missed it. So let me reset here. I just pulled the cell out and put it back in. So if I press once, I get 500, again, 1,000. You can't double press. The interface isn't fast enough for that. It just goes one up to 2,000. And there is 3,000 milliamp hours, the top rated three amps. So the battery's charging now. Now what I've found here is during this first maybe minute or two of charging, the interface here bounces around voltage-wise and percentage-wise. So it's best just to kind of let the cells sit there and charge and it'll uh, kind of give you a more accurate rating. You can see it cycles between what the current voltage of the battery is and what your charge speed is if you press the button again. I'm gonna put in another battery here. I've got this one going for a total of one amp charge speed. I've got a 14500 keep power. Put that one at 500, it auto detected it, which is great. 500 is perfect. And then the last bay, let's stick a nickel metal hydride. And let's put that at uh, one amp. So here I've got all bays going. We've got a wide variety of cells. 18650s fit great in here too. We've got a 26650, a 14500, a 2700, 20, and a double A. Instead of working from a bank of eight amps, the charger and deducting the amounts as you insert the cells, the charger lets you 
select each bay as high as you want and then takes the power from the other cells. I, I wish it would do this a little bit differently. I wish it'd uh, start off and deduct as I was mentioning there. The charger will then analyze the cells during this analysis phase. The capacity and percentage you get may not be true as I was mentioning before. This is why I prefer to look at the voltage. The same holds true when it's full. It'll sit quite a while at 98, 99% as you can see these two here. Um, I know this 2700 is fully charged. This keep power is really close. So that's something I wish it just kind of do a little bit differently. There is over voltage protection in here too. So this is a safe charger once it hits at 4.2 volts and kind of ramps down, it will uh, basically shut off and say 100% and not continue to charge the battery to damage it. The charger also has zero volt activation, which I did not test because I don't have any uh, batteries to revive. As you can see here, the charger holds a variety of different types of cells pretty well. Um, I can swap in other types. Here's a flat top 18350, and this one actually has a uh, magnet on top. I found it that makes a little bit better connection, but this is true with my XSTAR VC4 too. And I can slot in a 18650 in here. This one happens to be flat top, but button tops work fine too. So it really does a nice variety of cells. It charged everything I threw at it. Here's the AC adapter that's included with the uh, A4. And it looks like a laptop style power supply to me. It's pretty large and has really long cables, which is nice. It's rated for 120 to 240 volts at 50, 60 Hertz. And output is 12 volts at five amps. This charger doesn't have anything on it that says it's full of mauve. So I'd really recommend uh, either taking a silver Sharpie and writing on it or a sticker or something to let you know it goes with this charger so you don't uh, plug it into anything else by mistake and uh, ruin it. Here's the packaging it comes in. It's a nice large box, um, really nothing fancy. You get the charger, you get the uh, power adapter, and you get some instructions. And that's really all there is to say. My conclusion is this is a fairly simple charger, but it's fast for both lithium ion and nickel metal hydride batteries. I'd rate it as a good charger, but not the best charger. It uh, seems to have a little bit of trouble terminating the nickel metal hydride. It's more of a constant charge instead of an active charger. So I probably won't use it for that as much as I will my lithium batteries. But where this thing really charges and shines is in the fast charging of those lithium batteries. The UI is a little bit slow to change when you're changing rates, and it seems to hit this wall at that 99, 98%, with that last 2% taking longer than I feel like it should. It has a large external power supply with a lot of cord length, um, so this probably isn't gonna be my mobile charger, but if it's sitting at home, it won't uh, be a problem. The one thing I don't like is this power connector in the back. It's loose feeling and just isn't a 100% solid connection. I'm hoping they can revise that and maybe I'll be able to test a revised one. However, these slight negatives are overcome by this nice large display. It really tells you what's going on with this battery capacity. It lets you know you're charging, tells you what chemistry you're charging, percentage and your volts. You can click the button and it'll show your rate as well. I really like that the charge capacity is a total of eight amps. That's way faster than my XSTAR VC4 which can only do a maximum across all four slots of two amps. I like how this charger can accept a wide variety of sizes of cells and chemistries it can take. I feel like this is a safe charger that does a nice job and I can recommend it as a good value fast charger. I'll have a link below to where you can pick this one up on Amazon if you're interested. Thanks for watching this video. Liking it and subscribing to my channel helps me to continue to bring content like this to you.